Hi everyone, I'm Katie, an infant toddler Montessori teacher and registered early childhood educator. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the Montessori approach to math in infancy and toddlerhood. So in Montessori, math is not directly taught to infants and toddlers. Instead, it happens organically through the activities that they're doing, the songs that they're singing, and the books that they're reading. Because of this, it's super easy to introduce math concepts at a young age. And you might be thinking, but math is really boring. My child would rather spend their time doing other things. But just like with everything in Montessori, we follow the child. We use what they're already doing to introduce math in a really fun way. So Dr. Montessori believed that children are actually born with a mathematical mind. A mathematical mind is an intellectual quality of the human mind to organize and find patterns in what they see and experience. Have you ever noticed your child's need for order and precision? That's the mathematical mind. The Montessori approach is a wonderful way to teach math. It's child-led, hands-on, and engages the senses. All you have to do is look for opportunities to connect math to the world around you. Introduce your child to math concepts by showing them how math skills are used in everyday life. For children under two, I would start with counting. Count anything, wherever it seems appropriate. You can count the members of your family, how many blueberries they have in their bowl, how many toes are on their feet, and so on. Count. Talk about things being heavy versus light or big versus small. You can do this really easily with their toys. Look for and name shapes, either 2D shapes or 3D shapes. There are shapes all around us, so draw your child's attention to it. One of the easiest and most fun ways to introduce your child to counting is through songs. So some of my favorites are one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive, five little monkeys jumping on the bed, or zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. For children two years and older, you can start to introduce math concepts through practical life activities. Cooking and baking teaches children how to count, how to measure, how to estimate, how to observe results. Filling up pitchers and pouring water teaches children about volume. Something that we would do all the time during transfer activities in the classroom is um, if the children sort of needed a little bit of push to finish the activity, uh, we would count. We would count how many more scoops they had before all of the legumes were transferred from one bowl to the next, or we would count how many pom-poms were left in the bowl, and so on. So many opportunities for counting with transfer activities. Even setting the table introduces math concepts because they have to count how many people are at the table, how many pieces of tableware they need. So if there's four people, I need four plates, I need four forks, I need four spoons, and so on. And even when doing snack preparation, you can talk about the size of the fruits. This carrot is really big. This carrot is small. So you can sort of see how you can naturally integrate it into these practical life activities. You can also incorporate math into many sensorial activities at home. So things like talking about weight, hold two objects, which one is heavier, which one is lighter. Go for a walk and collect things to sort and compare their sizes. Another favorite activity that we would do in the classroom every single year were sink or float experiments. You can do this with a bin of water. You can also do it in the bath and invite the children to explore density. It was a really great opportunity for the children to again sort of hypothesize. Do you think that this object is going to sink or is it going to float? It was a really popular activity in the classroom. These types of activities all work to prepare the child for more complex math concepts later on. I'll finish off by saying that there's no need to force it. Your child is already naturally interested in math concepts, so if you try to introduce a math activity or counting to your child and they're not interested, that's okay. Just wait for another opportunity. At home, you really wanna keep math light and fun. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, it really helps our channel if you like and subscribe. This helps other parents to find our channel. And if you have a question, feel free to comment your question below and we'll answer it in a future video. Take care. Bye.